Welcome to ITSS Online Training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system, ITSS. This is Lesson 12, Standard Reports. Reports have all, always been a very strong feature in ITSS. It is very, very easy to set up reports and to generate them. So let's take a look at how we do this in the new version 9. Here we have the ITSS master icon. This is the control center in ITSS. We start it up. And um, when we look at reports specifically, we can see that there's a new report pane here in the master. It tells us that reports will be available when the system is started. So we start up the system. I'm working on the demo here for version 9. Um, the reports pane, which is now uh, populated, you can see, with all the reports that we have uh, designed in our system. Uh, let's take the one called Periodical Report. This is a built-in report that you can try in the demo yourself. Let's double-click on the icon here. Then we get the Generate Standard Report dialog box. It allows me to generate a periodical report. Um, the users that have used previous versions of ITSS will see that it's a new uh, type of dialog box that we're seeing here. But the functionality is more or less the same. We can take an overview report. We want a daily report. We want to preview it on the screen. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's go back uh, to yesterday, for example, and then generate it. We click on the Generate button. And as you can see, we now get a daily report uh, for this specific um, period. And we have a title up here, My Wastewater Plant. This is uh, a title that comes from the System Configuration Program. We'll look at that later on, how we define this. Uh, also, we can put in a uh, logo. In the uh, report, we also look at that uh, later on. The report itself is divided into sections, temperature, flow, level, pumps. And this is all done in the definition program when we define this standard report. Uh, this particular output that I'm looking at right now is uh, the HTML um, output, which is the default. So um, this, is, um, this is possible for all operator stations because you just need an internet browser, then we can provide you with an HTML output. The other option is uh, Excel, and uh, if you have Excel on all your user stations, then uh, you can choose Excel as the output type in system configuration. Okay, so let's go back and see how we actually define uh, this daily report. We close all this, and we go back to the definition module. This is under design and setup. And remember, you have to be in design mode in order to see this design and setup tab. Click on definition. In the definition module, we go into the uh, edit menu. We choose report formats. We get this dialog box with all the different report formats or report templates, you could also call them, that we've done um, in the project. Periodic report, this was the one we looked at. It is divided into the flow section, the pump section, and the valve section. So that's exactly the report we saw before in the HTML output. Now let's try to make a completely new one. We click uh, Create. We give it a name. Uh, let's call it uh, production line. It's a periodical report. That's the, that's the one we looked at before, uh, for example, the daily report. We click on the uh, report format name and we can now input the sections or the headings. So we want a section for motors and we want another section for pumps. Okay. If we go to the um, pump section first, then we can now choose the objects that we want to include. So we select the section, we click on Browse. Here's the object browser again. 
and we go to the objects called something with P. That's one thing you can do. You can just uh, select the character here, or you could make a wildcard search like this, P star, and you see all the different pumps we have. Uh, we take uh, pump 1 to 6 here, and we can see that the data reduction is change, which, which means that IGSS will count all the state changes for uh, these pumps. We'll drag this selection into the report format Starlog box, drag and drop, and there you go. Let's do it again, this time for the motors. Click up the uh, object browser. And we'll take a couple of objects here and move them into the section called Motors. So that's all you need to do in order to create a uh, report in IGSS. Uh, if we look at the, the individual objects, uh, if we select all the pumps, for example, then we can go in and we can say, yes, I want a total value for the day, for example. I want uh, to show all the state changes for the day. And then we click OK. And we have a new report format that we can present to the end user. In order to do that, we need to uh, install it or compile it into the project. So we go File, Check and Update. We say Yes to save the changes. We uh, click OK in the Installation Options dialog box. And at this dialog box we say no because we don't want to look at the report but we can uh, see that it's completed with no errors which is fine so we click no and the object is um, the project is now updated automatically and we are ready to look at the change production line we can double click on it and select another date maybe maybe um, 20th of October and we can generate again and there you go and now we have some figures in the report we can see that uh, the P1 object uh, changed uh, 2,253 times uh, during these 10 hours uh, of operation um, so this is the kind of output uh, you will get and now let's take a closer look at these uh, titles up here because I told you that uh, you can do them in system configuration. So let's close this uh, report preview, uh, close the Starlog box and then go to design and setup. If we go to system configuration and we go to reports, we can see that there are some uh, setup possibilities here. My Wastewater Plant, that was the uh, first line of the title. Second line was IGSS version 9. And then the third thing you can do is you can put in a logo. Here you can see that I have a, um, I have a GIF file, um, uh, an icon or a logo that I'm pointing to. So the plant logo you can put up there. Um, periodical report offset means that uh, by default uh, a report, a daily report, will be from midnight to midnight. Um, but if you change the start hour, uh, let's say you change it to 6, for example, it will be from 6 to 6. And finally, uh, the output, you can either have HTML, which is the default, or you can you have Excel. Remember that if you choose Excel, then all operator stations must have Excel installed. Finally, uh, let's take a close look at um, let's take a quick look at uh, the job scheduler because the job scheduler is connected to the report functionality. You can say it is possible to auto-generate reports at a specific time. Uh, let's do a new job. Say, uh, print daily report. And this particular example is very, very easy to set up because we have predefined all the parameters 
under select so if you click select and then you click daily report then you get all the parameters you need the first line is um, is uh, the path to the RMS uh, command line or the report command line and then you get the command line parameters you can read all about this in the help file and that's it you have now set up a um, daily report and you can launch it like this you just press the launch button and it will actually print your report right that's all for standard reports um, please refer to um, presentation or training video number 17 which will explain how you do custom reports in IGSS and we also have some exercises on the reports on our website www.igss.com thank you for listening